Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 25th, okay? But we all know that the timing is fluid and not every reading is for you, okay? So take what resonates and leave the rest. Six of Swords, time of transition. Looks like we have somebody that is leaving behind a troublesome situation, going to a better place. It looks like there is somebody that is steering this boat. Um, somebody may be, you know, taken away. There could be, you know, uh, I think that there's somebody that is helping somebody to escape from a situation that is not a good situation that's what it looks like to me there could also be an arrival okay because it looks like we have a mother and a child here somebody is helping them is helping them in some way so there is some sort of help here this is somebody who knows what they're doing Three of Wands. Interesting because we have boats here as well. So I feel like somebody's ship is about to arrive or somebody's ship is sailing. Could go either way. Um, nine of Pentacles. Now, the Nine of Pentacles is a very independent, self sufficient individual who is just enjoying their life, doing their own thing, working on themselves, working on their business, working at their job, you know, just not really interested. This person is very focused, hardworking individual here, Work, focused on their, their abundance. So we have somebody here that is focused on themselves, focused on another boat. There is going to be an arrival there is a going to be an arrival of some sort. But then again, it could also be a departure. This could be somebody that has just gotten off the boat. I'm going to I'm going to work on myself. I'm going to work on my abundance. But this is also somebody that maybe, you know, Traveling to a new destination. Somebody may be traveling. They could be moving. There's some sort of help here. Okay, so I don't know if help is arriving. This person may seem as though they are alone. If you are independent and you are alone, you are about to have an arrival. Okay, there's going to be an arrival. If you are in a troublesome situation where there's a lot of turbulence you know and there's just a lot of angst and fighting if you think about the five of swords this is somebody who's leaving a hostile situation where there's been a lot of fighting and there is somebody that is going to be is helping them to leave so this is leaving a hostile situation where there obviously has been a battle there's been a lot of exhaustion Somebody was in, in, was in a situation probably where they were belittled and betrayed. But now they're going to a place where there is peace and harmony and where they can relax. It feels like, it feels like they get to this place and there's some sort of arrival. Get prepared. So we may have an independent person that is working on themselves that is, is getting themselves prepared for an arrival. 
Maybe this person isn't even looking and there's going to be an arrival. But then again, we have these people that are going someplace. These people are, are traveling somewhere. There's distance involved. King of Wands reversed. King of Cups. Seven of Cups reversed. Seeing very clearly somebody is coming out of a state of confusion. They're seeing very, very clearly what they need to do. There is some self-love here. There is self-love. This is acting on feelings. Given to act, you know, given to act from the heart. Somebody is going to be doing something from their heart. We may have some a very big hearted individual here who sees very clearly somebody's value, somebody's abundance. <coughs> Excuse me. King of Wands reversed. That's a self-centered. Somebody is leaving behind a self-centered, unrealistic uh, <laughs> dickhead. Sorry, that's what I wanted to say. Okay, somebody is leaving behind some a person that is uh, controlling. That's who they're leaving behind. They're leaving behind a controlling, uh, nasty individual who uh, does not respect them. This person is very egotistical, belittles them. Somebody was belittled by an individual who likes to be in control. This is, this is somebody that is power hungry, king of wands and reversed, likes to fight unbalanced doesn't respect others so that's who's being left behind this person that is conceited smug and they're and they're going some they're traveling somebody is leaving behind an individual definitely and it's because their intuition is telling them to. And, and it has to do with self-love and it has to do with self-worth. There is another option here. Seeing clearly that there's another option. Making a clear choice to do so. We may have somebody here also that was very fearful. They were fearful of something, fearful to move on, fearful of getting hurt. But the Three of Wands is about hoping and praying for the best. Somebody has been waiting for something. And now it's time. Either way, it's time. It's time because the ship is here. It's here. Whether it's leaving or it's coming or it's going, it's here. This is what you've been waiting for. This or somebody has been waiting. Time's up. It's time to go. This is moving on. Whatever it is, it's time to go. There is some sort of departure. There is a departure. I believe there's a departure and I because that ship is is going out, okay? So there's a there's a departure, but I also feel like there's an arrival. We have a very strong, independent, self-sufficient person who is abundant. That is the clear choice. There is no confusion about it. None. We have somebody that has good intentions here. This person has good intentions and I feel like they are about to 
show up. Okay, they're about to show up. They may be looking for a relationship. Okay? They may be coming to help these people. You know, and it turns out, turns into a relationship. This is like, it feels like this person is, it's almost like this person is being paid or has been summoned to do something. Because we have this mother and the child. This mother and child don't appear, you know, they appear, appear to be distraught in some way. You know, they appear to be, you know, hurt or something like that or not interested, put it that way. I feel like this person is, it's like this is the driver or this is the person that is just coming to help with this, to get them out of a situation. It looks like this boat is almost like sinking. But, but, I do believe that there is going to be a departure. There's somebody that is going to be helping somebody to escape a bad situation, whatever this situation is. They are helping them. This is help arriving. <laughs> Seven of Cups reversed is seen very, very clearly. Four of Swords reversed, Ten of Wands reversed, in the Chariot. There is a journey, okay? We definitely have somebody here that is taking a journey. They're traveling. They're going someplace. They're taking charge of a situation. They're letting go of a baggage. They're, or they're letting go of a burden. They've been overwhelmed. They've been trying to do too much. They've been weighed down. This is dropping weight, dropping, dropping a burden. Not going to hold on to it anymore. Somebody has been trying, been, you know, it's been an uphill battle. It's definitely time to let it go. This is making a conscious change to let something go. This is a dead end. Um, extremely exhausted and fed up. We have somebody here that is very overwhelmed. They can't do it anymore. This could be a collapse. We may have somebody here that is ill. They could be ill. They could be sick. You know, they're overdoing it. They could, this could be a physical collapse. May I, this may have something to do with a heart here because the King of Cups, it's about heart. This is, this is taking the high road. This is replacing that. And this is fearful. We may, we, I think we have somebody here that has been fearful to go. They've been fearful to go someplace. But they are leaving. I, I think that they are leaving now. This is mastering emotions, getting in the driver's seat, taking the reins. And going and leaving it all behind. Somebody is leaving something behind. They are. And the chariot is movement. It is fast forward movement. This is facing opposition. It is facing fears. It is being in control. It's taking control. Taking charge of a situation. Now we've been talking about this a lot. We have somebody here that is dropping something that has been weighing them down. They are 100% fed up. This could be packing up, like, um, seriously, both these cards. I feel like we have somebody here that maybe they're literally packing their car. They're packing up the van. I don't know where van came from. There could also be an arrival, an unexpected arrival. You know, there could be an unexpected arrival. We could have somebody here that is angry. Very, very angry. It may have something to do with a father figure. We have somebody here, I believe, that is angry. They may be angry about a departure. There could be an emotional outburst ahead. Absolutely. Somebody could get really, really angry and upset because of a departure. Somebody chooses to be single. They choose to leave. And that could cause, you know, an outburst could be a fight because what comes before the five the six of swords the five of swords 
So there definitely could be a power struggle or a fight. This is the end of a situation. It is. It, it's time to let go. It is time to let go. We got somebody here that has been... Uh, I feel like things have gotten worse. Their health has probably declined because of it. We definitely have some health issues here. I feel like we also have somebody that is very moving very, very fast, okay? Because this is driving very fast. There's a need to slow down. There is a need to slow down. Somebody is moving very fast. It could be, that could literally be, you know, the words moving fast, like moving out of the home fast or something like that. There is moving fast. I feel like there's there could be some tears that are shed. This could be a very emotional time, extremely emotional. I mean, the the, the page of cups in reverse is is uh, tears. It's unrequited love, rejection. So I do, and I also feel like we have somebody here that is obsessed with their image. And that's one of the reasons why they're angry, you know, because it's embarrassing. Anyway, I think that you should get prepared with that three of wands. Whenever I see the three of wands, it is get prepared for either a departure or an arrival. And I do feel like it is sudden. I think, I think that, you know, there's some sort of, uh, transition okay with that six of swords that's a rite of passion Pas passage i still can't talk it's been a while um yeah six of swords that's a rite of passage that is going someplace else just just going i got to and it hurts but i have to i can't i can't be in this situation anymore there's too much there's too much fighting there's too much struggling there's there's too many hostilities I do, I do feel like we have somebody that has to go. They have to. They have to. It's, it almost feels like it's a dangerous situation. Somebody may be seeing very clearly that it's better off to be alone than to be with somebody that belittles them and doesn't respect them and tries to control them and throws fits all the time. This person acts hysterical, you know, throws hissy fits. We definitely have an unreasonable individual here who is unwilling to budge. And it's better off to let this person go and have peace and harmony and serenity in your life than to fight all the time where to the point where you are exhausted and frustrated and overwhelmed. Somebody is, is definitely overwhelmed and they are leaving. Okay, the chariot and the six of swords, absolutely. And the three of, three of wands, there, there's, there's definitely some travel here. Taking the high road, okay? We have somebody here that is determined. They are determined to succeed in life. This is a very strong individual who knows their value loves themselves enough to do so. This person uh, can see very, very clearly. They may have been confused. They may have been in fantasy land. They may have been in some sort of state of illusion, but now there's clarity with that seven of cups reversed. I know my value. I know my worth. I'm capable of taking care of myself. So I do believe that there is a departure here. 
I also believe that we have a mother and a child right here that is receiving some help or is going to be receiving some help from somebody. <coughs> it's funny because I haven't had any problems with my throat, none. King of Cups. This is emotional, somebody that has good intentions that is arriving. Somebody is arriving. Somebody is arriving that has good intentions. This is a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I don't know. Maybe he has a motorcycle. Um, it's a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Could be. Or it could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. <sighs> could be anybody. Could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I do feel like there is a departure and there is an arrival. We also have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here. So I believe we have everybody. There is a clear cut decision that is being made based on self-love and self-value. I mean, what more can I say? There is going to be a... travel okay this is leaving it is it's it's I gotta go I gotta go gotta go gotta go gotta go gotta go somebody could actually get angry as well and they could get in their car and speed away okay they could get angry and they just get in their car and the, the chariot is moving fast okay so this is get out of my way get out of my way so there is going to be some fast more forward movement we could have somebody here that sees that there is a somebody that is in need of help and they just come rushing in they come rushing in to help anyway I think that you should get prepared get prepared for a departure or an arrival okay One more card. I looked at that at 22.33. Has to do with partnerships, foundations, <sighs> unity, five of cups, beginning to realize that there is another option. This is a turning point. It is a turn of There could also be a reunion here with the Five of Cups reversed. There could be a new prospect that is being accepted or beginning to realize the truth. Somebody is probably beginning to realize they've been focusing on a poor option. They've been focusing on illusion. They've been focusing on fantasy. You know, they've been focusing on something that you know, isn't reciprocating, and I think that now they're beginning to realize that there is a better option. And they're going after that better option. Absolutely. All done grieving. All done crying over the spilled milk. This is moving on. We do have somebody that is moving on. They're moving on from a poor choice. Accepting that it's over, accepting and praying and hoping for the best when they get to the place that they're going. Somebody is going someplace and I think that, you know, they tried to resist it, right? They tried to resist it, but there's no other choice. There is, there's no other choice. It's time to go. It is time to go. So either I believe that uh, I really believe that we need to get prepared for an arrival. Okay? Whoever is arriving has good intentions. This is somebody that has a very big heart. 
and they're probably looking for a partnership. But I feel like this person comes in to help. It's like they come in to help. <sighs> and they see very clearly that this is something valuable. Good luck.